Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you something that we scored at the Goodwill uh, several weeks ago. Now when Jen and I go to town, we often stop at the Goodwill looking for deals and uh, we'll stop at other thrift stores too looking for stuff that we can use here on the modern day homestead. So let me show you what we found. Now we bought this for $14.99 as is, but at the Goodwill you can always bring it back and then we could just get store credit. And since we go there a lot, we figured let's let's just bring it home give it a shot so what is this magical mystery tool that we grabbed let me show you it's the McCullough garden shredder 14 amp it's model MCS 1400 and this product was made in let's see it comes from China yep now this little shredder has three uh, feed options, which is really cool. There's the clippings that go into this little hole here. And then you've got leaves go in this side. And then we have branches in this. Now if this thing works, uh, Jen's pretty excited about making leaf mold. We get a ton of maple leaves that fall up here and we can gather as many as we want so we can make leaf mold with that we can shred up uh, little miscellaneous things from the garden and then the wood chips that we can make from branches around here will be really helpful in the chicken run now this thing can only do one and a half inch size uh, or diameter branches but you know that's we there's tons of that around here too so it might take me a little longer to make enough for the chicken run, but it's just another thing we have here, which will really be handy. Now, when we got home, I did plug this in and just started it up real quick and then shut it down. It did start up, but I want to take the cover off, make sure everything's tight where the blade is, make sure it's clean, and then we'll give it a test run. So let's uh, take the cover off and check it out. Okay, well that looks pretty good in there. And I did grab a ratchet and uh, checked and it's really tight so it's not getting off there. Now these blades you can get online for uh, fairly cheap so that's nice I can always replace those. And I'm pretty sure that uh, parts are uh, available for this thing too if anything goes wrong. So let's get this back together and give it a test. And it did say in the manual, make sure the blades are facing like this when you go to put that cover back on. Now there's a couple of nice features with this. When you tighten these little bolts, spring-loaded bolts back on, when you're putting the case on, or the top back on, the motor won't start unless those are tightened down securely. So that's, uh, that's handy. And then there's also a little circuit breaker here. So if you jam a stick in there and it's jamming up the motor, it'll just pop that circuit and shut the thing down and then you just press it again and start her up. Now let's gather up some sticks, some branches, and there are branches everywhere still from when we had the storms. So I'm gonna go around, gather a bunch, and then uh, we'll turn this thing on and we'll run. No, we'll turn it on and we'll see how she does. She's purring like a kitty. So let's check this out. 
those are some really nice sized chips. There's no big long stringy pieces in there so this is really going to be great. I think what I'll do is make a little ramrod tool that I can push in here and clear that chute and maybe something up here. We'll see when we start using this more if I need to create something to kind of push stuff through there. Well there you have it. The McCullough Garden Shredder MCS 1400. Uh, I think this was a good score, $14.99. Can't beat that. Okay, watch out, girls. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Scratch it up. Scratch it up.